All right, legends, welcome back to the late show for round five. Myself and Timmy Williams going head to head, answering all of your questions. Ready to rock and roll, mate? Keen, mate. Let's get weird. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Fuck me. You throw scissors. I'd like to go back and check this, right? You've thrown scissors every week. I got a bit of Matty Waterboy about me. <laughs> uh, Catmandu, what's doing? All right, boys, let's dive right in. Not much, in. good to hear. Good to yeah. hear from you. That's nice. It's all business over there. Yeah, no. she is. She, the, yeah. The, 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 the orange wiggle came to work. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Because you got places to be. I do. And we got, got places to be and bets to lose. Let's right, roll. So, yes. mate, throwing to you first. Okay, so you're answering first. Yeah, sure. I'll take the first hit up. From Tain Sarajevo. As Supercoach experts, do you feel a lot of pressure slash anxiety to succeed at Supercoach? Uh, no, not in the slightest. I enjoy the roller coaster. I love the content side of it where when things go well, it's all good fun. But when things go badly, it's actually heaps more entertaining. And that's where everything goes crazy. So it's always good to finish high, but I, I, I don't give a fuck. We're going to be here next week and next year anyway. Do I feel pressure? No. Was I very relieved to jump 27,000 spots last week? Yes. Yes, I was. Uh, no, not really. As Rue said, you sort of you learn pretty quickly to take the highs with the lows. You're not going to have a big season every year. And honestly, the uh, the things we stuff up, we get the best response to, and it's a bit of fun. So you got to own it. It's all part of the game. Rate that. Okay, from Stone underscore Eyes 1. Hold Hosking or sell. His upside is amazing, but not getting the minutes. I think if you can do it, Hosking is a hold. Mm. So I'm just trying to get confirmation on how long Elliot Whitehead's out for, but if he's out for an extended period, Hosking's been unbelievable 80 minutes on the edge for the Raiders this season. Had a HIA on the weekend, failed that, so he misses out this week. Look, if he's your ticket to, say, Tulangi or wherever it might be, he's fine to trade, but as an 80-minute edge back role for the Raiders, I think he's a good po little pod to have. Yeah, I personally think not getting the minutes is a little bit harsh on him. I, I, I personally think he will end up being an 80-minute edge on that side. He got knocked out last week. Yeah. What do you want him to do? It is what it is. Uh, I agree with him. If you can hold him, so be it. If he is your only way to get Blaze and free up cash, sure. But I'd want him in my side. Mm. Okay. Tommy80809 has asked, thoughts on Ford as a buy? This is you, Guru. No. Um, I Yeah. I, I saw him being the top of the buy hold sell last week. I think Ford's a very good player. I think they've got a lot of back rowers there. Martin Corey is back in the side and whatnot now. Um, Ford's got incredible base. He gets through a lot of work. Uh, but uh, I don't know. If he didn't score that 100 on the weekend, I don't think we're having this conversation. I think he'll be a safe guy. I had him in Supercoach Draft last year. You all know I've been high on him for a few years. He, he can be a little bit up and down. You get these highs, but I just don't think he's consistent enough for me. I, I'm not going to say he's a buy. He's made 80K already, so I think not the ship sailed. He continued to score well, can continue to score well, I should say, but he's basing 51 this year, averaging 74. His work rate's been unreal. He looks good in attack. His line running is getting better and better and better. Uh, the issue, that little Metcalf combination was coming along nicely. Metcalf's gone now, a new combination to come with Tamare Martin. Uh, look, not for me, but he's killing it. Okay. JC Matos, 13. Is Connor Tracy with a break even of one at 606K a potential get? Oh, he's always been a good super coach player, hasn't he? Averaging 71 on the sting for the doggies, basing 33. Look, I just don't like going attacking players for lowly teams in the NRL. The fact that he's doing it in three tries in his three games so far this season is killing it. I just I like to chase higher upside guys in, in better attacking sides. A six hundred K winger at Canterbury? Mm. Fucking please. Hard pass for me. If he starts playing fullback, I'll have the conversation with you. But even at six hundred K, it's a it's a lot of bicky. Mm. I'm paying six hundred K for an outside back at the dogs, his name's Jacob Kiraz. And even then. <sighs> yeah, no thanks. Okay. Something a little different. Jay Sunders 16. What is your favorite rugby league name of all time? Mm. Um, oh, fuck. That's tough. Off Ooh. the top of the dome. Fuck, I wish I was going second. <laughs> uh, favorite rugby league name of all time. Kerry Boosted's a good one. Really from the old school there. Russell Fairfax, another good one, a cracker. Uh, there's a few, a few good ones getting around at the moment. I'm sort of shooting a mm. blank. 
as we go through this. Have you got any good ones off the top of your dome? The first one that came to the dome was Sia Tonga Licky Licky. <laughs> Licky Licky. One of the great names of all time. <laughs> Omar Slime Ankle was right Omar up there. Slime, Arana Tomata, a bit of a bad boy, Arana. Oh, yeah, give me a, a slice of Arana. I even like, if we're going like, Tough rugby league names, Robbie Rocco. Robbie I Rocco. Loved a bit of Robbie Rocco. Oh, I thought you were going to hit us with a Robbie Ross there for Robbie sure. Robbie Ross would have been, yeah, That's a great so name. Uh, there's been a couple of good ones. Marcus Bai, I always liked. Yeah. Good little name there. Um, yeah, there's been some crackers. Maybe we, we it's almost an episode to itself. Yeah, we I want to do a bit of research. Yeah, I think we could, we could go into this mm. in, in some more detail. Maybe yeah. best names. Denny Kemp right up there. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. DK. Yeah, DK. All right. You have been appointed the new head canteen lady. What's the first three things you put on the menu? Oh, I'm, I don't have a sweet tooth, but I love those little red clouds. Very underrated Yum. little red clouds. Lives, but yeah. Love those red clouds. Mm. God, they're good. Um, but at the end of the day, Rue, I'm a meat eater. I'm putting a big steak sandwich. I'm putting eggs on it, a little bit of bacon on the side. Thanks for coming. If you had a big steak, Sanger, can of Coke and a little red cloud to, to sweeten it, can't go wrong. Yeah, I think uh, all of the above, sausage rolls. I'll tell you what, at Mascot Oval, uh, they do a chip roll where they put like a chip, a roll, sorry, buttered, uh, but like they pour some Smith's chips on it. Mm. It's a little bit rogue, Ooh. but it's not bad. Get a mm-hmm. barbecue chips roll. Something a little bit out there. Uh, Cloud's hard to beat. Shout out to my primary school. Five cents a cloud. Used to show up with 40 cents and eat like a king at recess. It was great. Uh, Like we used to find five cents in your bag and be like, fucking oath, Ron here. Then you go wait 15 minutes for a cloud. Got red all over the face and you get home, your mum would go, Ru, have you been kissing girls again? Not quite. Not quite. (laughs) Girls escape another day. (laughs) But it felt the same. Tell me about it. Okay. All right. From... T X M M X N teeth. I'm so sorry, Rue. <laughs> what do we do about Satili, Labart, Burbo, Keenan, Fatah, Fatah, oh, Jesus, Smith? Kat, what, what are we doing? Do you know what I actually Straight read? Straight names at me. I read the wrong question out. Thank I'm God. so sorry. The, 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 I'm so the, sorry to to. What are we doing with Supercoach Guru? What are we doing with every single player that <laughs> ever <a> existed? <laughs> All right, chill on the rules. Was also really looking forward to you having to answer that first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just see your I just, response. Do you know what? I realised that the question went nowhere. Mm, yeah, it was what do we do, and then just listed players. To be fair, we've put Kat under serious time pressure yeah, here. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's I could a also bit of just edit this whole part out, but I won't do that nah, because I'm, roll. I'm authentic. Uh, no aesthetics. Jace has asked, "Is it rogue to not have Turbo in my starting seventeen this week?" It's Penrith, and he's a bit shaky. Yeah, I would still have him in your seventeen. It's Tommy Turbo. He can have two good chart touches and score seventy. Um, I get where you're coming from, and there's every chance that you might turn out to be right. But mate, leaving Turbo out of your side, I just couldn't do it. Seriously, like maybe if it was like late in the season, he had real strong depth in your side, but. If you've got a player in your team that is stronger than Tommy Trebojevic, I want your team, basically. Look, yep. it's at Manly. Nathan Cleary's out. We know Penrith are good regardless, but even in the rain, it's Tom Trebojevic. Play him. Mm. Okay. Final question, guys. Appy to Grant, sideways or worth it? Oh, God, no. Um, look, I, I still think Harry Grant's going to be the number one hooker in Supercoach. I'll hopefully be looking at getting him in maybe three or four weeks' time, get a bit of a stint before Origin. But Happy Christy has been unreal. Yes, he had a down a week on the weekend against Parramatta. I think it was 44 points. But he's an 80-minute hooker in a side that's playing good footy. He's getting good momentum through the middle with his forwards and his goal kicking. He's got the keys to the castle at the Tigers. Uh, absolutely hold Happy. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm not sure what the break – Harry Grant's break even is 87. He's yeah. going to lose money. And you've got Appy who's got a break in about 35. He's only going to go up. They're going to meet each other halfway. No, nah, not the week for me. I'll fire him back at you quickly, Root. Uh, after the way the season started out, Robson going well, Appy looking good. Harry started a bit slower. Uh, are we still confident Harry's the number one hooker in Supercoach this year come end of year? Yeah, I think he will be by the end of the year. I think that Harry will have enough 100-plus games mm. to make him the number one hooker. But I, I think averages-wise, I don't think there'll be that much of a gap. 
yeah, I still think he'll be number one and, and definitely the one that I want to get in in time. Um, but as mentioned, my other hookers are going well. They have been going well, but I, I just – I don't – there's real – the only hooker I look at and think you're a genuine chance to score 100 this week is probably Harry yeah, Grant. He's the man. Even happy with goal kicking, I'm, st- I'm probably still more confident I'm than Harry Grant. I'm stoked with my Reese Robson pick. He got three tries just two weeks ago and scored like 98 or something. Yeah. Keep in mind, Harry, like he, has, like he hasn't been going great guns, don't get me wrong. But once that team now has Cam Munster back, Husey back, Pappy starting to find Nass his feet. back through the middle. Is it, has he been named this way? I don't think he was. I, I think he's still he playing. I, I reckon there's something going on there. Mm. That's, he's, he's played two weeks of Bears. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Very odd. But if Melbourne, you know, they get a hanging games, they've shown that already. They start to get on the front foot now. Harry could be very interesting. Imagine being the 83 kilo hooker in New South Wales Cup, knowing that you're playing <laughs> the Bears the following week and waiting for team lists to come out going, please, please, belly ache, pick Nels. Yeah. Fuck you've, just done, you've just done a, a full week on the tools, you saw your backs going, and if you go and tackle Nass on Saturday morning. Yeah, miss me with that. I'd be praying for a hamstring. Um, all right, are we done and dusted, Catman? We're done and dusted. That's the late show for round five. We will see you next Wednesday. Wednesday.